Hey, what is good with y'all today, tonight, whatever y'all want to call it. What is good with y'all? This is uh, your boy Top Dot, and we are back with a Music Monday. Today, or tonight, or whenever, <laughs> we're going to talk about industry beefing, basically, and how back in the day, it was lucrative, and people was really down for them, the bang bangs, and how nowadays it just went from being, uh, how nowadays it transformed into being uh, some play, a play thing, you know, so, first off, if you're going to get into this industry, you can try to do your thing, don't don't try to go off in here and the first thing you do is start beefing with everybody, it's not a good thing, you go off into there, release your style upon the industry, and the world, see how people receive you, and then you go back and you make alliances, or you just go back and harness your own talent the way you want to. But I ain't trying to tell you like going to the industry and tag team with everybody and get like a super team going on. That's not gonna happen. It's the industry. Everybody trying to eat, and if you got 30 people on your team, and you gotta pay 30 people out your own pocket. You really ain't gonna have no money. So you know people trying to get it on their own. That's why you got a lot of people that stay on managers. They own beat makers, um, their own promoters, and everything. It's just all in one package. I'm, I tried to be like that when I was an artist, um, coming up, uh, doing my little rap thing when I was younger. But you know, I kind of slipped off. You know, life hit me, so I had to chill out. You know, do some real stuff besides trying to rap. Um, so that was that. But I learned along the way that you have to basically pick and choose your fights because if you go into the industry and you just like yo I'm finna go at everybody so I can get my name known I was finna do that at first but then I thought man there's somebody out there that's well seasoned man and I might run up against them and my luck might run out and I might just get stomped right then and there lyrically not physically but get stomped lyrically and then just be trashed out you know now people are like ah oh, you just an angry you angry little battle rapper you know or you an uh, angry, unachieved artist. And you don't want to be known as that. So, basically, you're going to want to get about there. Pick and choose who you're you going to roll with. Pick and choose who you're going to go to war with. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not like go to war as far as having somebody on your team. I mean, go to war as far as me and you, we finna do this thing. You know what I'm saying? Sort of like the... Uh, Put your team Drake beef. I would I would bring that into a delight once again, cause that little is still a beef there. Oh please believe me, them two ain't on speaking terms, and I don't think they ever gonna be on speaking terms. But it's beef like that that's reminiscent of 1990s and 1980s beefs when it came to rap. You know what I'm saying? Cause back in those days, if you said one word or something about somebody, ah, it was done. It wasn't no more talking. Y'all want friends, it was okay, when we see you, it's on site. My crew versus your crew, my block versus your block, city versus your city. As you've seen with the East Coast, West Coast War, it started up with Pac and Big, you know, stuff like that. That's how beef was handled back then. Also, beef was surgical back then, because back then, it wasn't in the age of the internet. So you had to actually go do research, so you had to send people out two places where other rappers was born at or where they be at and you had to find out information about them that was kind of hard to do you know what I'm saying because you might actually run into said rapper while you trying to get information about them and you might get that thorough whooping and then now you a song now you forever done you know what I'm saying so that's how most beef was handled then nowadays it's basically like I talk bad about you you talk bad about me I see you somewhere I dap you up, smoke a blunt with you, and then go in the studio the next day and talk about how I fired on you on the low. And really, I basically just smoked with you. But it's enough people and it's enough wheels in the rumor mill to keep that thing turning. So now you got a whole rumor out there about me whooping on you or you whooping on me. And we just met up in a um, closed location and blew a L and was talking my life, you know. You know, it's, it's stuff like that. So, what I'm saying overall is the beefs nowadays and back then, 
are different because of the industry, the climate, and also because of the record labels too. Because record labels don't want to see artists dying off of, of beefs or they try to prevent artists dying off of beefs. That's why they give them bodyguards and um, personal security. So when they go places and they do things, they can be well protected because they're an asset to that company, you know. So when you have those aspects all mixed into the gumbo, then basically it's, it's going to be killed out here. Because on top of you having a lot of money, you know, people see you as an opportunity to come on up because they can whoop on you and then make a song and be famous. So most of these artists got to watch the outside beefs versus the industry beef you know what i'm saying the beef that's inside the industry with all of the artists that's that's coming up with all of the artists that's just at the tip finna jump over to the side of fame and then all those ones that have attained fame already and just trying to keep it because you know they in this they in the game and don't nobody want to get put out of the game by no younger competition so you know folks keep they these ogs is is keeping their fan base and their melody going while they out here you know and that's why you don't see too many of the older cats beefing nowadays because why they out here trying to get their money man it's too many young mumble rappers now out here collecting the checks so why we beefing with each other let's link up let's link our fan bases together now i got new fan bases i mean now i got new fans from your fan base hey we got new fans from my fan base so now we all winning in this game you know what I'm saying? Minus the beef. But as you can see, nowadays beef is promoted among the young rappers. Because that's the first thing you hear. A nigga cross me, I'm going to pop him in his head. Or I come out here, take a cat bitch. You know what I'm saying? Take a cat chick, slash her. You know what I mean? When, when I mean my slash is by hitting it. You know, not cutting her, but cutting her. Um, something like that. So this is basically war ready. These lyrics that these young dudes be coming out with is straight war ready. They just be primed and amped up just to start something, create trouble because they thinking, you know what I'm saying, the OGs taught us that, and that's negative because I'm one of those 80s and 90s babies and the 80s music was a lot of, yeah, fuck the police, um, it's us against them, it is what it is. Then the 90s went to kind of, okay now, everything is is decent so now we can cool out now we can go ahead and get our vibe back and this is what our music is and then the 2000s hit and all of a sudden you had a major shift from real wholesome music to basically anything that can make you shuck and jive and move is an instant hit and with these companies out here they promote stuff like that too they don't let these companies um, these record labels out here fool y'all because they most definitely have promoted this big change with their music. As a matter of fact, it's been quite lucrative for them, as you can see, because there's a million little artists around here, especially the younger ones that sound just like each other. And it's playing well because it's playing well into their hands because they see the younger crowd is molded and they see that and it's attention grabbing. Oh my god, I can say hippity hop and flippity flop and I can get half a million views on on YouTube and I can get mad clicks on um, Instagram and mad clicks on Snapchat and I can get mad likes on Facebook if I go ahead and throw this out there you know what I'm saying and then somebody gonna look at that and be like up oh, time to scoop them up give them that big chatter and they gonna basically turn them into a beef machine which a lot of record labels like to do too when they, they don't act they act like they don't like the beef but it's lucrative for them so they'll assist in in amping it up just a little bit and then when it gets too serious then they draw back a little bit you know they dial it back hey don't do that you know don't go out here without your security you know what I'm saying if you're gonna go out here and say this do that here matter of fact we're gonna have these extra police with you while you here, we're going to have people looking out for, and doing this, that, and the third for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you out here, you're important to us, and we value your life. And that's basically me. Yo, listen, you make money for us. You make a lot of money for us. We don't want that money to stop. So 
Don't be an idiot. There go some people around you that can protect you. Get away where you can get away. And come on back to us because we need you alive. And you're better off alive than dead because most of the time, uh, a lot of those artists, if they're smart enough, their music and all that other good stuff, if they life is ended as a result of beef, most of them who are smart enough to set their family up to where their family get most of their estate or all of it when they gone. So hopefully we got a lot of rappers out there that can that do that. If not, then yeah, we need to teach these younger rappers nowadays that you you don't have to flash everything that you got because if you put everything that you got in one hand and you flash it and then somebody take it now you got to start over so invest make sure you don't you ain't out here beefing so you can invest and you know what i'm saying get right in the future man pass that knowledge on down to the next upcoming rappers and let's do this thing y'all so with that being said i want to thank y'all for joining the episode um if you like the video go ahead and leave a like if you want to subscribe to the channel and you like what's going on here go ahead and hit that subscription button uh, leave a comment let me know who you is where you're from where you're at so i can give you a shout out every once in a while i'm trying to do shout outs again but uh i need more people in the comment section so yeah y'all go ahead and holler at me man until next monday man y'all get at me treat yourself right peace